Okay, so the points that we're going to be looking at Christian is the top of his hips. So if you notice, it's going to go left, right, left, right. And I'm just looking at the tops to see left, and then I see the right, and then I see the left. Do the tops of his hips look the same, or does one look higher than the other one? And can you guys see? Or do they look, do the tops of his hips as they go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Is the top of his hip, is one side higher than the other side as he's walking? Which side is higher? The left side looks very slightly higher. The left side appears to be higher to me as well. The inside. The inside. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take note of that to see if that's um, better, worse, or the same as saddles go on his back. Then we're going to look at that hip angle from the point of his hip to the point of his buttock to the point of his stifle. If that angle looks big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little. Can you guys see that? On this side it will be big, little big, little, big, little. On this side, on this side closer to Kathy, it's very less noticeable. Yep. So, is the angle bigger or is it littler? Or is it equal? Do you know what I mean by that? See how it goes big, then little, big, then little, big, then little. Kathy, can you see that? Okay, so what that means, all that that means is Christian's hind leg is out behind him. Then we're going to take notice of his hocks. Is there, for his joints, is there anything that he is wobbly with? Or does it look like they're pretty stable? And how do they look? They sometimes look like they twist a little bit to the inside. Yes. Not greatly. Oh, thank you for that. So Christian's right hind leg, which is the one that has a little bit of white on it, it appears of his, as if his hat goes twist outwards, twist outwards, twist outwards, going in this direction. So we're just again going to remember that. Christian's tail, it doesn't really do anything noticeable or remarkable, it's just kind of lays down, relaxed. It doesn't look like, I'm going to have to wait until he comes back around, but it doesn't look like he puts him over to the right a little bit more or the left a little bit more. It looks pretty much just straight. And then let's look at the hind legs, the length of his hind leg stride. So both of them look like they are going either into or just past his front hoof prints. So those appear to be equal in the length of the stride. Then we're going to take notice of his back. Is that what you guys, I'm sorry, for the length of the stride, is that what you guys see as well? Okay. 
Then we're going to take a look at his back. And it would be just the area that the saddle would be behind. And we're just going to take notice to see that area of his back. And it looks pretty level to me. Is that, do you guys see anything to take notice of? I don't see anything either. The arc is nicely. The arc in his back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It would be like the area right behind where the saddle would go. So we're just going to take notice of that as we start putting saddles on his back. His scapula area, his shoulder blade area, we're going to notice how much that moves. You're going to see his shoulder blade moving forwards and backwards because those are the swings of his front legs. And we're just going to take notice of what his front feet sound like. So we're just going to remember that for the saddles. And then the last point that we're going to look at are his head and neck. So horses in walk are supposed to bob their head and neck up and down. You are not going to look at the position of their head and neck as far as above or below the withers. For me, it's helpful to, to just watch the tops of Christian's ears. And for me, his head bobs. It's not that he's looking up. Kathy, if you could get him walking, just a few things. But if they bob up, 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 easy, easy, easy. But his head's bobbing up, 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 up. Even as he goes to put his head down, the head bobs are still going up. So Christian's counterbalance, all that's telling us is that his front legs are being supported more by the weight, not his hind legs. So Christian's body posture, um, he is trying to carry weight with more of his front legs, not so much of his hind legs. Okay. Would you go ahead and ask him up in a trot? And if he needs to go out further in a bigger circle, that's fine as well. So the tops of his hips, originally his left one was a little bit higher. Does that look the same or does that look different? Slightly higher on the left side. <laughs> he didn't start off that way though, did he? He started off by being equal, then he did the right hind higher. Now he's doing back to doing the left hind higher. His hip angle from the point of his hip to the point of his buttock to the point of his stifle is still big. That angle is bigger, which means that his hind legs are out behind him more. His tail has come up. I still don't see a big significant difference for it going to the right or to the left, and it doesn't look that tight. His hocks, he's not twisting. He's not twisting anymore, is he? So he's not twisting anymore. The length of his striding looks equal. His striding is about one to one and a half hoof prints behind the front, but they're equal. We're just going to listen to his front feet. And he is carrying his head up, which is good because his hind leg is more out behind him and his back is a little bit dropped. Not a boy. 
So we're going to look at the saddles now to see if these points on Christian get better, worse, or stay the same.